Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome back to once again another video. Today we're back on Booga Booga Reborn. We're going to be showcasing every single mojo in the game and exactly what all of them do. So uh, I got uh, I'm the ma amazing guy right here, James, right here. He's always helping me out. He's also giving me Discord Nitro, so shout out to this guy right here. Make sure to go add him on Roblox, join him in game. He's an absolute W and helped me out with today's video. Alrighty, so first we're going to go... Um... Anyway, Shelly friend right here, uh, he kind of owns it. It drops ores in-game. I recommend not getting this until, like, the very end when you have mojo not that you need to spend. But if you have extra mojo that you just want to spend like me, you could also press buy. But I'm personally saving this in case they do release a secret mojo and eventually the time being without me having to rebirth with all my food. Now, another one they have is the peeper pet. I'm pretty sure this doesn't lay eggs no more and it drops pumpkins. I can ask to confirm this right now. I'm pretty sure it drops pumpkins now. As they had to change it for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure. Because as well as the gobbler buddy right here, it also drops pumpkins. So, not only in the void. Okay, so only in the void they drop pumpkins. Alright. I see. It drops sad ore. Okay. So they drop dookie ores, of course. I'm guessing that's what... This is right here, and then the Adorate. So these two are what drops, pretty much. The main ones, at least. Now, the next one that we are going to go over is the is the Spider Pet. This one is in-game right now that drops pumpkins in Void or in the normal world. So if you guys want to uh, obtain this, make sure to head over towards the Void. If you don't know how to get to the Void, you can use a ward, Void Portal. Place one of these down with a Saddle, and you need a Banto which is one of these guys with the horns. I believe the ones with no horns work as well. Saddle it up, place it on top, then break it, and then the portal opens, and you can get to the void that way. And also, if you look at one of my previous videos on how to get to the void for free, you can get to the void completely for free without paying any of this, and you can join the server infinitely. So it's really good for newer players when you're not level 25 to be able to craft the portal. Now, let's go over to the next one. Oh yeah, with the spider. Did not finish that one. On level 20, no. 25 pumpkins in the void is when you can get the spider. So you need to go around and get all the locations. In my recent video from yesterday, when the update firstly dropped, I posted all the locations and it's near the end of the video. So I would recommend speeding up the video if you want to hurry up and find the locations. But I show you every single clip of me going to every location to get them all. And the secret ones that most people actually do not know where they are. So you can go look over there. Now, the next one I'm going to go over, the God Rock. So I actually have a few things we can showcase this on. The God Rock does tons of damage to God players. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to showcase the damage. Let me let him know. Alrighty. He should understand. He should understand. Okay. Alright. So this is how much it does. I believe it's a 5 hit. So it's 2. Alright. So we got around 2 right there. And it takes about, I would say, like... Mm, 30% of your health, so I believe 5 tick is what takes you completely down. 5 or 6 ticks, all depends. But uh, they're pretty overpowered. So, let me look right here, yup. So, it's like, yeah. So, it's around 5 or five or 6 ticks to completely kill a god. So, uh, they're not that bad, but it's pretty decent. It's the best weapon in the game. So, if you guys are wondering, God Rock is number 1 weapon in the game. And pretty good for grinding as well as it is 20 to every single thing in the game, except for... The animals, the animals, I believe it does 75. Let me go make sure of this. Let me see how much these have overall. I know this one shot's this. All right. Over here, so they start off with 50. Yeah, and they still one shot. Okay. So we're gonna have to go to like a bigger animal and test that out later on. So it's pretty overpowered, but I believe they do 75, 75 or 50 to every single living creature into the game. Now, the next one is the oof horn down here. I want to go over this one before the God Bag and Water Walker because the Oof Horn is really something you should never buy because the audio has been deleted off of Roblox completely because of lawsuits reasons and much more. If you did not know, you can look that up on Twitter or whatever you like. But Oof Horn is completely useless, makes no noise. So it's pretty much just the War Horn right here makes this noise. But it goes Oof it's a lot longer, so. Sadly, that is deleted. It was one of my favorite items into the game, so hopefully they add something back to bring it back, but it is currently broken right here. Now, we're going to go back to the god bag. The god bag is number one bag in the game. It tops every single bag in the game. I believe he does not own it right now, but I have it right here, the god bag. It's pretty a decent bag. It does hold 
a pretty good capacity, the number one capacity you can hold at the moment. Uh, second place comes the candy bag, as it is the best regening on Voodoo. So you'll be able to spam your bolts all you like, and then it'll regen a lot faster. You look right here, it is regening a lot faster than what a void bag would regen. It's a lot slower, if you can tell. Alrighty, now we're going to go over to the next one. I am going to need his help for in a minute, but the water walker. The water walker, pretty much without water walker, is you're going to walk like this. So this is the best for grinding. Now if you want to turn it on, you go a lot faster, you can tell. Just a lot faster than without. It takes a lot longer. I'm not sure what the speed difference is, but I believe like this is like about probably five more speed. I believe you were supposed to use speed inside of the Roblox Studio to test it out. I believe it's like an extra five or whatever when you're using uh, the admin panel. Alrighty, now we're going to go over to the harder ones in a minute. Now we have the sparkle. Sparkle is literally just an imitating effect right here as he has on him. It's like the pumpkin, but it's going to be sparkling. It's pretty overpowered and like scaring away people. So if you do want to be a little bit scary, then why not toss that on there? Because then people would know that you actually most likely have god armor if you were willing to spend a whole mojo on sparkles. Same thing with pumpkins, it's just the pumpkin effect. Now, if you want to get pumpkins for free, you got to get 10 pumpkins inside of the void. So head over to the void and go obtain yourself 10 pumpkins before the quest are gone. It is limited time, such as the spider. Both are limited time, by the way. Now we have God Legs, God Chest Plate, and God Halo. I want to show you the damage difference on every single one. I believe they all do the same. So here, let's uh, take the hat off so he understands. Alrighty, now, okay, yeah, we're kind of bald. Smack me once each armor. All right, I'll show you. So this one, smack me once, let's see. So it goes right here, so we're going to heal back up. All righty, there we go. Now, I want to show this one. You should be able to hit me again. Hit. All right, does the same thing. Okay, I believe they all do the same. I'm not 100% on this. And then we got the legs. I'm going to show you all, make sure that you all all know. So you can get any single one of these at any point. They all will do the exact same. Now, two pieces. I'm going to show you what two pieces do. Hit again. All right, it does about that much. So it's about double what you do. And then, of course, once you have all armor sets, you are going to do a lot more right there. Just going to do a little tad bit. So I uh, recommend you getting all god at once. But, uh, of course, you can save up for just one if you want to protect yourself quickly and easily. But that's completely up to you. So god armor is completely the best armor in the game. Void is not best. People have been... Considering whether Void Armor is best or God, God Armor is number one. I would recommend going with either Void, because you can continuously use Voodoo, or Pink Diamond or Emerald, because those three, I believe, are all the same dip boost in uh, durability, but that's up to you guys what you pick. Now we're going to go over God Hut. Let's let him know we have to place the God Hut. The God Hut itself is pretty much the amazing item right here. So uh, it's one of these right here. It's pretty much just like a big old hut. Here, I'm going to show you the difference right here. So we have the big old hut, and then we have the god hut. Yeah, I have it. Okay, I'm going to show them. Then we have the god hut. So there is a pretty big, big difference in gold and crystal, but they're pretty good. Trust me, The this one holds, I believe, one yeah 2,000 health right here, and this one holds 20,000. So... Of course, there is a ginormous 10 times difference, so if, I recommend you guys, if you are, depending on getting the God Hut, it's going to be good for good use, and you're going to grind Golden Crystal to be able to use it wisely when escaping gods, or trying to trap yourself with a player to continuously PvP inside, but it's pretty damn bright if I do say so myself. I mean, look at this thing. Pretty cool, and uh recommend getting you this as well. But not before God Armor and God Rock. Those are my tops. I'm going to rate them as well at the very end, so if you guys are ready for that, Get ready for those as well. Now we're going to skip Infinity Chest for now, but we have God Pickaxe. God Pick right here. I'm going to actually make this because why not? Uh, Where is it? God Pick right here. And then I'm also going to make God Axe for the next clip. All right. So pretty much God Pick would do 50 to every single thing in the game. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 right there. So pretty overpowered that way. And the same thing goes for the Axe. It does 50 to every single thing that you can break with the axe and it does not do that much damage to players i'm going to show you i believe it does 17 and then this one also does 17 so they're not that overpowered for fighting items but i mean you do you what you want to use Alrighty, now these are the best tools by the way 
You need to mention that. They are the best tools in the game. Nothing beats God. Nothing in the game at the moment, pretty sure that's going to be stable for a long time, is going to be beating God armor. It is number one at the moment. Now, one of the last and final ones is going to be the survivalist. I personally do not have this. I wish I wish I did. It stops your hunger from draining so quickly. As you can tell, if you pay attention very closely, it is dropping very quick. And then it's plus one health regen per second. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him, it, don't heal. We're going to test survivalist. All right, now watch his health rise. Look how fast that rise with survivalist, right? Goes a lot quicker. A lot quickly. All right. Hit me. I'm going to show you without survivalist. Let him hit me a few times. Okay. Now watch. The difference. Watch the difference between our health. His is continuously regening. Mine takes like a second or two break. You can definitely tell the difference and see how OP survivalist is. But I do say it is the most expensive mojo item in the game. So only do that if you have your all your god tools or your god armor. Maybe even god hut. And then save up some mojo to buy survivalist if you want to prove people that you're rich. But I recommend, you know, Survivalist isn't on top, but it's pretty good for new new gen players. I mean, o overpowered players. My bad. Got that all screwed up. Uh, overpowered players that way. Now we're going to go over the Amazing Infinity Chest. It is the most broken item in the game, I will say. And uh, shout out to James right here for heading me over with some coins because he helped me out with getting the Infinity Chest coins. He actually really did. So we're going to buy ourselves some gold right now be able to purchase this infinity chest there we go we should have enough gold in a moment Alrighty. nope we do not have enough gold okay now we should have enough gold there we go perfection now we have the god god only infinity chest i want to show you exactly what this thing does right here so james is going to come over here and we're going to be able to break this quickly so uh let's i guess get to breaking right so it has 1.5k health and you're going to see how overpowered this is because you spend 200 gold and you can get a whole bunch of items in the game. So if you are willing to help out newer players, I would recommend you getting some of this. They spawn, I believe, like 20 to 25 random chests in the game. They can be from the best to, to the worst. I believe the only chest that does not spawn is Essence Chest because it's all Essence. So I believe so. Those are not the ones that do not come. They spawn 20 to 25 chests, which isn't too, too bad. But it, it could give you possible profit. I'm not 100% sure on that. Because we do get gold here. Gold here. And then whatever more comes through. Oh, another one right here. So around 25 do spawn. They're not too, too bad for chests. But be careful when doing this. Because these are the, I believe, just the emerald chest Are the ones that are like, I would say, hard, I would say. Because they completely make yourself not able to go through them. So you can get stuck in these. So... I'm actually going to have a video releasing very, very soon of opening 100 Infinity Chests with Miss Demons, one of the top three donators into the game, which is another friend of, my, friend of mine. So, shout out to her for real. She really helps me out with videos sometimes, since she is one of the richest Booga Booga players I know. So, uh, yeah. Pretty much going to end it off here, but before we end it off, I'm going to rate every single mojo item in the game at the moment so firstly we're gonna go over shelly friend is in last place as well as the peeper pet these two are worst placed at the moment and now we're gonna be going over this one is getting skipped but will be also in last place as it is not dropping anything special at the moment this one's also gonna be so top four are useless but you can get this one for free so go ahead get that one while you can god rock number one item in the no number two item in the game okay why i'm gonna say number two is because water walker tops it because if you're running away from a full god player you cannot run away like, you have no chance of running away look how slow you walk compared to that it's like times three or times four in uh running here let's see let's see if he runs run i want to show you how what's the difference look Look how fast he runs towards me. Like, I'll never be able to catch him. I mean, of course, if I place the dock on him, you know, he's already gone. By the time you get lined up, maybe you'll be able to get it in time. But look how fast that is compared to me. I'll never even reach there. But look, I'm only like a quarter of the way there and he's almost already finished. So it's definitely, I believe, two times speed. So uh, you can definitely tell there is a ginormous difference in that. So Water Walker will always top everything. Then comes God Rock as you can break everything in the game and is the best uh, melee weapon in the game so you can fight anyone that you like now the next one that's going to come in there are actually going to be three items that come in 
third, fourth, and fifth is going to be God Chest Plate, God Legs, and God Halo because these are the armor. You want armor. Armor is going to protect you from gods, fights, help you gain some loot when fighting players. So God Armor is what you need. Grind yourself some God Armor as it's going to get you OP into the game, in my opinion. Now, as well as God Pick and Axe. So it's very hard for these to go in the 6th and 7th, I believe it is, is because they're not, they're not like that easily to get in the beginning so that's why i recommend saving up for something in the beginning but if you want in the beginning like if you're a brand new player starting off with one singular mojo save it use rafts to get around and i want you to buy god pick or god axe i'm gonna personally go with god axe you can climb your way up here to ancient tree and you can go break the ancient tree as well and then it'll give you all that essence as well i would also ask like a very pro player to help you break in the beginning to help you get that first mojo I am going to be hosting game nights very shortly where all my Discord server, so go join my Discord server, is in the description down below. Join my Discord server, and I will also be hosting game nights where we're all going to be grinding the ancient tree together and continuously server hopping so we can get a whole load of people on max level and getting them rebirthing, and hopefully no one will be robbing each other because we want to keep it all friendly and keep the videos thriving through the game. Now also, then God Pick. God Pick is good for gods, but of course nothing beats uh, the infinite, the amazing amazing essence up there the ancient tree drops an insane amount of essence so cannot lie i'm gonna show you guys in a second of it completely breaking and how much essence we can completely get all right while we're walking all over towards ancient tree i always want to let you guys know that right here thank you the james because i do not know these tips right here so uh thank you to this right here so uh god back holds 750 which is double void 750 items so one fruit contains is one, I believe, is, or half. I think that contains is half of one. Not 100% on that here. We need to make a ladder to get up in a second. Also, uh, God Armor blocks 75% of damage. So, uh, shout out to James for helping me out with that amazing tips. And we are not going to talk about us falling. Anyway, get back to you guys once we're at Ancient Tree. Alrighty, time to break the tree with two God Picks. So, uh, I mean, God Axes. Let's see how this goes. Speedrun time starting now. Alrighty, we are about to break the tree any second now. Three, two, and one already we completely broke the tree in approximately about five minute time if that so uh this is pretty much the best xp grind right here you get all this essence so we can go from level 39 probably who knows how high let's see right here i'm pretty sure we can get almost to i would say like high 50s maybe mid 50s not 100 percent sure on this maybe we're just gonna hit 50 i'm pretty sure we're getting pretty close so around 49 so what is that not 100% sure, around 10 levels plus right there. So we were below him, now we are above his level. So I would say Ancient Tree is the best method right there. We gain around at least 15 levels right there. So that's my opinion, best grind method right there. Head there and then Old God right there as well. If you have not watched my old previous videos on how to unlock Mojo in 30 minutes, then make sure to head to that video. This shows me speed running it and completely how to do it in 30 minutes, but that's my opinion on what you correctly want to do. Anyways, let's pretty much end it off here, but before we end today's video, we have actually got something by the admins, and they have only sponsored me with this so far. I'm not sure of anyone else that have completely gotten this yet, but Maddie is the one that completely have given me this by the permission of Knight and Pi, and shout out to all the developers out there and all the admins that are completely making this game the way it is. It is certainly perfect, and, uh, Cannot ask for a better Booga Booga. Do want to mention maybe a couple updates in a PS. Maybe add me a secret item. But anyway, we actually have our own custom tag in the game pretty much. There is going to be a little clip I'm going to show in a few minutes. Well, a few seconds. And it's going to show pretty much a little tiny camera icon above my name. And I actually can use the, the slash toggle icon to take the name emoji off. Or I can use slash toggle to put it back on. Either one of those do work, and they only work for me as I do have the role for it. Yeah, he has no idea what it is either, so this is first time viewing it as well. Only a few people I have showcased it to. So it is certainly something that you I um, am grateful for, so thank you out there to the people that have given me this. 
Anyways, guys, gonna end it off for today's video. Shout out to all the Booga Booga creators out there. Have been watching y'all's content as well. And I'm certainly saying that uh, I do got some competition out there. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see you guys back on the next one. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And last shout out to James right here. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys back on the next one. Adios. Hello.